Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We're finishing off the MP5 line with the MP5 SD. In our spawner, we've got home SMG rifle SMG MP5 SD1. All the SDs spawn here, though. We've got the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, and the 5, and the 6. Almost forgot the 6. Don't forget the 6. They are all chambered in 9x19. We've got our MP5 rail adapter. It's basically the same setup as the MP5, except this has an integrated suppressor in it and a special uh, perforated, vented. The barrel's got holes in it. <laughs> that bleeds off some of the gas and makes the 9x19, which is normally a supersonic round, into a subsonic round, takes some of that energy off by taking away some of the gas pressure. Uh, is that modeled in... H3, we will find out. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at our six variations, starting on the left with the SD1. We've got no stock on the back. We've got a selector switch with safe, semi, and full auto. Moving on to the SD2, we've got a full fixed stock, same selector switch. SD3, got our collapsing stock, same selector switch. Now we are on to our four. Again, we lose the stock, but we've got a different selector switch. Now we've got three round burst and it is indicated on both sides. And on to the SD5, again, semi three round burst full auto, this time with a fixed stock. And finally, the six, back to the collapsing stock like the three, but with the three round burst integrated into the selector switch. Let's take a look at the controls. I have the A3 variant here. You've got your collapsible stock. Simple as that. Left on the trackpad will change your selector switch between safe, semi, and full auto. You've got your magazine well. Everything is basically the same as the MP5. Magazine goes in there. There's no mag release, so pressing down on the trackpad won't do anything. Here's your bolt handle up here. Will lock in the upper position. You can do the HK slap by hitting down on the trackpad. You don't have to touch anything in your controller. Just move it and it automatically will give it a whack. Uh, There's a closed bolt SMG. So if I do that, the bolt will close and it fires from closed bolt position. Click, click. There you go. Moving on to the SD5, which has the different uh, selector switch, you've got three round burst in there, so you've got safe, semi, three round burst, and full auto, and then back to safe. See what attachments will fit. I've got the SD4 here, because I want to see if I can put a stock on it, and you can! So the ones without stocks, you can put a stock on them. I don't know if you'd want to put that one on there, but, you know, it's an option. You can put any stock on there. You can also, put, of course, put the... Picatinny rail adapter, the MP5 to Picatinny rail adapter on there. So now you got rails, because otherwise there are no rails on the MP5 series whatsoever. Let's see what goes on the barrel. Can we put a muzzle brake on there? No. I have a feeling we can't put anything on there. How about a suppressor on the suppressor? No. How about the rail bell barrel adapter? No. Can't put that. How about the barrel extension? No. Bummer. Nothing on there. How about... Spatula. Can you put a bayonet on it? No bayonet. So that's all you get. How about something down in the foregrip? No, unfortunately not. So you got stocks if you don't have one. You got the uh, Picatinny rail adapter and that is it. Let's see what foregrips will fit on here. Well, the MP5K Proto foregrip will not go. Well, any foregrips go on this because it's already got an integrated suppressor foregrippy thing here so no not surprised but none of the mp5 foregrips will work and sadly not the one with rails either It'd be really nice to have extra rails on this let's check out our sights they are the same as the mp5 you've got a big v notch in the rear with a giant ring on the front and a chunky front post pretty good like that they do adjust you can click on this it's a barrel that spins around and you get a smaller aperture like that it is very hard to see i don't recommend it but there you go maybe one of these days we'll get super high res hmds and you can use those because right now they are so tiny that you can barely see through them i mean you can they do work but 
they are really tiny, but I, these on the regular V-notch are just fine. Thank you very much. Let's see what it looks like with the rail adapter on there. Any it's just a relatively low profile red dot. There you go. Much better. Now I can see the dot. Let's do our recoil test. 30 round magazine, 9x19. I'm going to do full auto and three round bursts just for laughs. I'm going to start with the one without a stock on it. And I'm going to try it one handed. You ready? Full auto, one handed. Here we go. Well, first shot got on the paper, uh, maybe the second, and the rest are up in the ceiling, so not so good. Let's try it pistol style with two hands, still no stock. How'd we do? Not bad, almost a five, 4.97, but hey, it's like in the, in the paper, it's controllable. Also noticing that it's shooting a little low, I'm gonna have to aim a little higher. Let's try it with no stock, but with the foregrip. See if we can beat that five. Not bad at all. 8.13 without a stock. Well, very controllable, even missing a stock. So if you get one of these in the spawner but don't have a stock on it, hey, you can probably get by anyway. Let's try it with the stock extended using a different version here. Don't matter none. It's all the same. Well. I like that, 9.27. Stock makes a significant difference in a great pattern. Whoa, nice. Back to the SD4, we're gonna do three round bursts, one-handed. Pulling the trigger as fast as I can. You know, much more on the paper than the full auto version. Didn't get a great shot off there, but that's okay. 2.61, not bad at all considering. Let's try it pistol style. A little jumpy there, all over the place. 5.9 average, not too bad. Three round burst with the foregrip, no stock. Interesting, kind of settled in a little bit towards the end there. 7.67, not too bad. Not as good as with full auto though. I felt it was more controllable, more consistent with full auto. With the burst mode, you're kind of you're kind of jumping around a bit. You don't really have as much control. And finally, burst mode with the stock. Ooh, that was good. That was good, 9.33, about the same as the full auto, much more controllable in that fashion. There you have it, the MP5 SD series, integrally suppressed subsonic nine millimeter using standard nine by 19 ammo. Till next time, I will see ya. Kind of got away on a couple, couple times there. Nice.